In our weekly Q&A with Toronto's Associate Medical Officer of Health, one of our viewers wanted to know whether the vaccine might interact negatively with any medications they're currently taking. Here's what the doctor had to say. We have the data based on the studies that have been done, and they did not exclude people who were on medications, people who had chronic conditions, uh, who took medications, did get vaccinated, and then they compared the two groups of people who were vaccinated and unvaccinated. And they didn't find that there were any uh, particular signals or uh, indications that certain medications might interact. I mean, I think the one thing to say is if you uh, if you have a weakened immune system and you're on medications for that reason, uh, the vaccine is... Uh, has not been studied in that group. And so again, in that case, it's I suppose it's a personal decision, but one of those things where you have to really weigh the risks um, in order to you know, decide whether you need to take it or not. As a person, but as, as a recommendation, you can't recommend it because it's really not based on data, but each individual person could decide for themselves, yes. Right, so, so it's not recommended then for people who are on immunosuppressant drugs to take the vaccine? because it has not been studied in them, right? Yeah. So we can't, we can't definitively say, but if you felt that if you're on an immunosuppressive drug and the risks of getting COVID were much higher, you right. might choose to get vaccinated. Yes. But the same goes for if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, for example, the, or if you're a child, like the vaccine has not been studied in those groups. This week's Q&A covered many more questions about the COVID-19 vaccine, including how it works differently compared to the flu vaccine and the groups it was tested on before it was released. To watch the full chat, you can go to our websites citynews.ca and 680news.com or to go directly to the article, you can point your phone camera to the code on the screen you see right now and follow the link that pops up. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.